welcome back to fab classes so already we have started with our bank reconciliation statement solution series so we have already done an illustration one and i have also given you a trick on how to solve the entire brs problems very easily so if you haven't still watched the video please do watch the video i'll give that link in the description box below now let us move forward with all other illustrations and practical questions from bank reconciliation statement okay so yesterday we have done our illustration number two and now we are moving towards illustration number three on 31st march 2019 the bank passbook of namrita showed a balance of 1 lakh 50 thousand passbook passbook balance has been given okay to her credit okay well balance as per cash book was 1 lakh 12 thousand 50 so passbook balance is also given cash book balance is also given we have to consider any one of them we can consider any one of them to start on scrutiny of the two books, she ascertained the following causes of difference. So these are the causes of difference. First thing, she has issued checks amounting to 80,000 out of which only 32,000 were presented for payment. Next, she received a check of 5,000 which she recorded in her cash book but forgot to deposit in the bank. A check of 22,000 deposited by her has not been cleared yet. Mr. Gupta deposited an amount of 15,700 in her bank which has not been recorded by her in her cash book yet. Bank has credited an interest of 1,500 while charging 250 as bank charges and prepared for bank reconciliation statement. This is our question. So now let's start solving. So in the previous video I have already given you the 5 steps or 5 easy tricks to solve the bank reconciliation statement problems. So we are going to solve this problem also accordingly. So if you haven't seen that please do watch it and then continue. Okay. So the first step was take your hands and consider one as cash book and one as passbook. So I took one as cash book and another as passbook. Okay. And now what you have to do is move your hands accordingly to the question. So before that let us draw the general format of bank reconciliation statement it's like in the books of namrata namrata bank reconciliation statement as on 31st march 2019 right yes 31st march 2019 particulars inner amount column outer amount column and the starting one is balance as per which balance is given in the question? Both the balances are given. Passbook balance is also given. Cash book balance is also given. So we can start with anything. Now let us start with passbook only. Passbook balance 1,50,000. Okay. So balance as per passbook 1,50,000. Okay. Okay. Now there will be some statements to be added. And there will be some statements to be less and finally we will get balance as per cash book so this is the general format of bank reconciliation statement so we have already drawn the format and now we will solve so the first step was take your hands and consider one as cash book and another as passbook and now what we have to do is move your hands accordingly to the question so what's the differences let us see each of the statements so the first thing she has issued check amounting to 80,000 out of which only 32,000 were presented for payment. So let's see what happened is she had issued check thing from the business point of view. We have issued check. Namrata has given check of 80,000 but out of that only 32,000 were presented in the bank. Only 32,000 were taken by the customer. Remaining amount still there is in the bank account itself. So what happens is when Namrata gives the check to the person some person what she will do is she will record in the cash book as 80,000 gone from my bank she will record like that but actually how much rupees did it go only 32,000 rupees did the customer take remaining is not yet presented to the bank for payment so that sense 80,000 80, minus 32,000 48,000 is still there in her bank account but in her cash book she has recorded as 80,000 but in the passbook only 32,000 went so 48,000 is still there so what happens is second step we are moving our hands accordingly to the question so in the cash book what happened is 80,000 she reduced but in the passbook only 32,000 reduced so there is a still a difference of 48,000 passbook is up cash book is down this is the situation and the third step is consider the starting balance what is the starting balance here passbook is the starting balance which we have taken here right yes passbook is the starting balance which we have taken here 
okay so what happens passbook is the starting balance which we have taken so what we have to do is freeze the other hand so this is our passbook cash book is the other hand so we are going to freeze now cash book can't move and now we have to make the cash book and passbook equal for that purpose we can't move the cash book so what we have to do is bring the passbook down less the passbook subtract the passbook in that sense this amount should be shown as subtract and which amount will be shown here in this i'll show you so check issued subtract right sorry check issued but not presented what will be the amount here the amount shown here will be 48000 why because 80000 has been shown as reduced from cash book but actually only 32000 has been reduced so here 48000 48000 difference is there so what we are doing is we have to reduce that 48000 also so 48000 is the amount which we are going to do in the less column okay so 48000 is recorded now let's see the next statement she received a check of 5000 which she recorded in her cash book but forgot to deposit in the bank so namrata got a check of 5000 she got 5000 rupees so what happened is she recorded in her cash book yes i got 5000 she recorded in the cash book but what happened she did not deposit in the bank so it is in the check only it did not go to the bank account so what happens here is step number 1 take your hands second step move your hands accordingly to the question so this is our cash book we have recorded in our cash book that i got 5000 increased cash book amount increased cash increased 5000 but actually did it increase no because she did not deposit it in the bank so what happens is in the bank account it is still here only our cash book is here means 5000 is increased in our cash book now consider the starting balance which is our starting balance pass book is our starting balance what we have to do now step number 4 freeze the other hand cash book free freezed we cannot change our cash book now so pass book we have to make cash book and pass book equal so for that purpose what we have to do is we have to take our pass book up we have to take our pass book up in the sense we have to add we have to add we have to add so what we have to do here is in the add column we have to write check received but not deposited how much rupees 5000 rupees I hope you are clear. So next one more statement we'll do. A check of twenty two thousand deposited by her has not been cleared yet. So a check of twenty two thousand was deposited by Namrata in her in her bank account, but it has not been cleared yet. So once we receive the check, Namrata will write, "I got the check of twenty two thousand rupees in her cash book." But actually, did that amount come into her bank account? No, because the check has not yet cleared. So again, step number one, take your hands. Step number two, move your hands according to the question. So in the cash book, Namrata will write as I got twenty thousand rupees, but in the pass book it did not come. So twenty thousand, twenty two thousand rupees is up in the cash book, but in the pass book it did not come. So this is the scenario. And now what we have to do? Consider the starting balance. Pass book is the starting balance. What we have to do? Step number four. Freeze the other hand. We have freeze the other hand. Now this cash book cannot move. Step number five. Make the pass book and cash book equal. So for that purpose, we cannot move this hand. It is freezed here. So what we can do is we can take the pass book upwards. We can add the pass book. Add. So that is the reason, or that is the scenario here. So a check of twenty two thousand should be added in our bank reconciliation statement. Again, check. deposited but not cleared 22000 so this is the case here and now and the one i hope you understood the trick with which we are going to so we are solving the problem so this is one of the most easy tricks and if you are following this it is very easy to understand what to do and how to do all these problems okay so next one mr gupta deposited an amount of 15700 in her bank which is not been recorded by her in her cash book yet step number 1 take your two hands cash book pass book step number 2 move your hands according to the question so what is the question mr gupta deposited an amount of 15700 in her bank account which has not been recorded in the cash book yet so in the bank account a customer has deposited 15700 so bank account has been increased by 15700 rupees but cash book we did not record so cash book is still here but in the pass book 15700 has increased so this is the scenario now third step number 3 consider the starting pass book is the starting step number 4 freeze the other hand cash book freezed 
Step number five, make it equal. For that purpose, what we have to do is cash book is freezed, cannot do anything. Pass book, we have to bring it down. We have to subtract. We have to subtract an amount of fifteen thousand seven hundred. So what we will do is customer deposited directly into bank. Directly into bank fifteen thousand seven hundred rupees. One second. Fifteen thousand seven hundred rupees. Okay. So last one. Bank has credited an interest of thousand five hundred while charging two fifty as bank charges. Here two things happen. Bank given as interest, credited as an interest, credited an interest of thousand five hundred and took two fifty as bank charges also. So what happens is here. Both are done by the bank only. We will know once the intimation is received. Okay, so bank has deposited an amount of thousand five hundred in our account as interest. So what happens? Passbook goes up. So this is the situation. So what we have to do? First one, take your hands. Now we move the hands according to the question. Thousand five hundred increased in our bank account, but in our cash account it did not increase. Now consider the starting balance. Passbook is the starting balance. Freeze the other hand. Freezed. Now make it equal. So we have to bring passbook down. Thousand five hundred. We have to subtract interest credited by bank. Thousand five hundred. Now comes two fifty bank charges. Bank deducts the amount from our account. So what happens? Bank deducted two fifty from our account. Our bank account reduced by two fifty. But cash account doesn't know this. So this is the situation according to the question. Now consider the starting balance. Passbook starting balance. Step number four. Freeze the other hand. Cash book freezed. Now make it equal. What we have to do? Upward. Passbook should be taken. Upward. Passbook should be added. So bank charges shall be added here. Bank charges two fifty. Okay. So this is how we are solving the bank reconciliation statement problem. So I think all the statements are over. So now let us solve. So adding total is five thousand plus twenty two thousand plus two fifty, right? Two fifty. So add portion total is twenty seven thousand two fifty, and less column forty eight thousand. No, fifteen thousand seven hundred. Thousand five hundred less total is sixty five thousand two hundred. So one lakh fifty thousand less add column total is twenty seven two fifty. Subtract how much sixty five thousand two hundred and the balance will be one lakh twelve thousand fifty will be the cash book balance. One lakh twelve thousand fifty is the cash book balance. And now let's see the solution. As per passbook, one lakh fifty thousand. Check depositor, checks recorded, bank charges. These three items total. Next less all these three items total, and the balance is one lakh twelve thousand fifty. So I hope you understood this problem. So that's all for this. Follow this trick to understand or to solve every problems of BRS easily. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much. Bye.